Hello world, uh, this is Mind and Canvas, STEM Discourse, episode number one. STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Episode number one, I want to talk about science. So, if you look in the dictionary, you'll see that science is defined very vaguely. But if we look in the etymology of the word, science is derived from the word in Latin meaning knowledge. But when you say science, the connotations to the word science are varied in many, many senses. So now when you say a scientist, for example, people think you're like a genius person or whatever. But if we just look at the etymology of the word, we know that science just means knowledge in a sense. So anybody who, who's a person of knowledge is by definition a scientist, right? Well, let's start. Let's look in the origins of knowledge. Arguably, in archaeological recorded history, we have the ancient Egyptians, or if you go back to the Fertile Crescent and ancient Mesopotamia, we have relics of records of, let's say, for example, Hammurabi's Code, which is information or knowledge, if you will. So we can look from those origins and think of the way that the people in those times used to interact and share knowledge, right? Even those people had levels of knowledge about mathematics and they knew they had knowledge of, of uh, agriculture because they had to till the soil and grow plants and hunt animals in order to get food. So they had a certain form of science, right? But the way that we think of science if you fast forward today, we think of science, we associate it more with the scientific method, which grew out of the Renaissance, Renaissance, and the scientific method, which is based off of the three things, observation, reasoning, and experiment, observations of the natural world and such and such, but science is not only about our observations and reasoning and experiment and arguably not everything not everything is such that you can perform empirical experiments on for example if you look in the social sciences you might have a hypothesis that cannot be confirmed with statistical evidence or surveys and and so that doesn't mean that the social sciences cannot be called domains of knowledge, right? So, the science that we are familiar with today is most likely the connotations of experimental and empirical science. And empirical meaning things that you can observe with your eyes, ears, and maybe taste also in touch. So, empirical evidence, something that can that you can repeat every time and produce the same result. For example, if we wanted to find evidence for the theory of gravity, Newtonian gravity, that force equals mass times acceleration, you can just jump and we fall down. And every time something is above the ground, it tends to fall back down. And so if we perform calculations using, using mathematics, we'll see that the evidence supports that hypothesis that Newtonian law of gravity that force equals mass times acceleration and so science is really a way for us to organize the way that we see the world right because there are so many vast vast amounts of data especially now when we have all these sensors cameras microphones all these things that can record the observable world for us. So we have all this data and unless we're able to organize the different data into coherent bodies of knowledge or coherent domains and fields, then we're just going to be scattered, scatterbrained and spread very thin, trying to jump from one thing to another and not really having an underlying structure of the real world. And at the end of the day, if you cannot organize your thoughts, then you will 
not be very successful in predicting what will happen, which is a main goal of science, is to form a theoretical basis of, of, of the observable world so that we can predict, in a sense, what's going to happen and so that we can take advantage of that to produce technology, right? So the science that we know today evolved from the successive observations of the ancients and when they began to record the things that they used to observe and pass that down until now we have the holy grail, right? Which is the scientific method.